you're probably wondering why you're basically seeing the same video again. Um, Raw came out last night, and Raw was atrocious as usual for the WWE. It has not been, I'm telling you, Monday Night Raw has not been a good product for a while now, but this kind of takes the cake, and it has altered the um, predictions and preview of SummerSlam. That's right, WWE SummerSlam taking place in Allegiant Stadium on Saturday, August 21st. Yes, I know, it's a Saturday. It was Allegiant, it was Allegiant, you know, trying to get that, trying to get that sweet, sweet paper before the Manny Pacquiao fight, so we, we discussed that already, and most of these matches we discussed in the previous video that was indeed deleted, so you will be seeing this new one in just a few minutes or so. Um, genuinely, right now, as it stands, there's only a couple matches on this card that are very interesting. The rest of these are either decent and could have something nice going for them, or are just absolutely garbage matchups. Um, there were two matchups that were added from Raw, from Raw last night. There's only like one other matchup really that I think could be added to the card. And that is the whole Finn Balor, Baron Corbin situation. Um, one thing I did not realize was that Shinsuke Nakamura had won the Intercontinental Championship on Friday night. Nope, there was like, I didn't even hear anything about him winning the Intercontinental Championship. And the Intercontinental Championship hasn't been defended on a pay-per-view in months anyway, so I don't I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. But we have both tag titles on, on the pay-per-view this, this, this time around. You know, that's a, that's a complete rarity, you know? Because, I mean, we all know how WWE treats their tag team division. It just hasn't been a good time lately. Um, but yeah, the, the only two matches that were added onto the card were Eva Marie with Duo Drop? Do Drop. I have no idea how you say that. I have no idea who that is. I don't know why Eva Marie is even on this card. She came back a couple months ago, I think. She's taking on Alexa Bliss in a singles match, which, I mean, both of these women just do not have the momentum they once had. Really, Alexa Bliss, really. I don't know why she's feuding with Eva Marie. It, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, to have Eva Marie <laughs> in a SummerSlam match. And, I mean, uh, she was the she was the queen of not being a very good wrestler. Just a absolute queen of not killing it in the ring. And, uh, and you know, maybe she's improved. Who knows? But, I mean, on, in all honesty, I, I don't. I don't care for this matchup. This matchup should not have even been added. I, I think it's over like those um those dolls or whatever, you know. I think that's what Do Drop is a doll or whatever. I think it is because you know Alexa Bliss had a doll named Lily, which I won't even get into how stupid that has been. You know, it it, it is what it is, and it's it's mostly been the raw side of things that just been completely dropping the ball, completely dropping the ball. We're talking most of these matchups that Raw is giving us is absolutely terrible, terrible match setups. So don't even pay attention to these Raw matchups. Um, AJ Styles and almost again, I did say the previous you know video that this might be added. Randy Orton came back last night. He's teaming up with Riddle, so RK Bro is back together, and that'll be for the Raw Tag Titles. Um, again, could be a could be a sleeper type matchup right there. You know, again, it, it's one of my sleeper picks. You know, I, I think almost and AJ will retain though. You know, I mean, almost is just too big. I mean, don't get me wrong, Randy Orton is a talented, talented guy, along with Riddle. Even though Riddle has some issues of his own, you know, but. I just don't think, I don't think the Raw Tag Team titles will be changing. Um, this, other, this next one that is really not interesting at all is Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre, they were former teammates. Um, apparently Jinder Mahal has some guys that are banned from ringside. I have no idea who these guys are. Veer and Shanky, apparently. I have no idea who those guys are. They're battling over a sword, which is even stupider. So again, you know, the Raw side of things, just not fun time. Not been a fun time. And we'll talk about the rest of these Raw matchups here. You know, again, like the United States Championship. Sheamus taking on Damian Priest. Apparently Damian Priest has been feuding with The Miz and Morrison for months. But, I mean, that, that really hasn't gone anywhere. 
that really hasn't gone anywhere. Seamus has just been stuck, you know, just picking on people, I guess. Because the United States Championship just hasn't been a very legitimate title in a while. You know, he's had it for a couple months now. And, I mean, I genuinely don't remember anything that he's done with the United States Championship on this go-around. It, it really is a shame, because Sheamus is a great worker in the ring. It really is a shame. I really just don't remember anything. <laughs> really, any good any good matchups that he's had. Um, yeah, these Raw matchups are just not good. Um, going up to the next one here, um, you know, you know, Bobby Lashley taking on Goldberg. Not like that's going to set up anything. Hence, hence, Big E potentially cashing in on Bobby Lashley. I don't think, I don't even know why we bring back Goldberg. Why does Vince bring back Goldberg every year for a two minute match that doesn't need to happen? It doesn't make any sense anymore, man. It doesn't make any sense. And the last matchup here is the Raw Women's Championship, which really has been only a Nikki Ash, formerly known as Nikki Cross. Now she's almost a superhero because she made up that persona herself, taking on Charlotte Flair, and Ray Ripley's just there because, I mean, her title run, you know, Ray Ripley's title run was lackluster as hell because they had to drag the Charlotte feud out three months and it just did not work for me. It didn't work for a lot of people because Charlotte Flair has been in the title picture, you know, just far too much because, heaven forbid, you know, you can't, Heaven forbid you could build up, you know, other women superstars in, in, in the WWE. Heaven forbid that. No, we gotta force speed Charlotte Flair to the audience, man. I don't like it. I really don't like it. <laughs> it it's just like no, like, uh, and, and, and these, and those are the matchups that Raw has given us. It's a ten match card for right now. The other four matchups are from SmackDown, which has been the better brand in the WWE for quite a while now. Of course, headlined by Roman Reigns taking on John Cena. John Cena's come back. Came back after doing all those movies like The Suicide Squad and stuff like that. And all those promotional deals and things like that. And dealing with China. You know, all that backlash he got from them, um, from that. You know, taking on Roman Reigns, which has been, you know, who's been the hottest heel in the company. Has been doing great with his new heel role. Something that, you know, I would have clamored for. You know, if John Cena were the top guy in WWE again, you know, had this been like, you know, John Cena like five years ago, ten years ago, and he was heel like this, I, I would have absolutely loved it every second of it. You know, instead of people, you know, booing him after doing the five moves of Doom, being, you know, just this all around good guy, you know. But it is what it is with that. It's a, it really is a heavyweight title fight. It really is a heavyweight title fight, man. I can't wait to see, you know, what, you know, what consequences go out from this. Because I don't really, I genuinely don't know if, you know, John Cena can take the title from Roman Reigns. I genuinely don't know. I don't think it's a good idea. I think Roman Reigns should keep the title until WrestleMania. You're goddamn right he should keep it until WrestleMania. I mean, you are goddamn right, <laughs> in all honesty. The other matchups include from SmackDown include the Usos taking on the Mysterios. Um, the Usos, they're kind of flippy floppy right now. They're kind of, you know, in a weird position where they kind of they're kind of trying to turn on Roman Reigns, but I don't think they are just yet. So we'll see how that goes. The Mysterios just want, you know, their titles back because they lost them last month at Money in the Bank. They lost them last month. And, you know, a couple more heady, heavy hitters here. You know, Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks, the second matchup. You know, after after Belair's feud with, ba with Bailey was sh cut short because of Bailey's injury. Or some people have speculated that Bailey got pregnant. I will say that. I don't know why they speculated that. I think that was just a legitimate injury or whatever. Uh, but, but Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks, part two. Oh boy. Excited. Beyond excited for that. I think the second matchup, again, like I said the other, or rather, like I said the other day, which premiered today, um, you know, I think the second matchup will be even better than the first. And. You know, last but not least, Edge versus Seth Rollins. My goodness gracious. You know, 
these two have a personal edge. You know, came back, you know, a couple months ago, said, hey, Roman, let me get back at that Universal Championship, baby. Let me get back at the Universal Championship. And he almost got it. He really almost got it, too. I, I was genuinely shocked because, I mean, I really thought they'd put it on. They, I really thought, you know, the WWE would put the title on Edge. You know, they put, you know, they get back that WWE title, you know, in front of a live crowd, too, because remember, WWE's had live crowds since July, so. No, I really thought that he was going to get that title back. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Seth Rollins has just been entertaining as hell like he always is. I mean, I'm just loving every second of what that man does. He just He's just an entertainer on the mic. He can, he can do it all in the ring. Of course, remember, that feud with Cesaro and that matchup at WrestleMania was one of my underrated. You know, just one. It's definitely a great matchup at WrestleMania. You know, with him, with Cesaro and Seth Rollins, and I think this matchup with him and Edge will be even greater. Because I mean, remember now, I think I think if Roman Reigns keeps the title away from John Cena, I think he'll be feuding with Rollins next. I really think he will. You know, I don't think the Edge feud will last that long. I think this will be just like a one-off, maybe two matches, but mostly I think this will be a one-off. You know, but that's. That's my picks. Hopefully, no more matches gets added to this card because it's already ten matches on the card already, and I had to delete the previous video and everything like that. So, you know, hopefully, that's it. Um, do have a couple more things. A couple more things have come out today from something else. So that will that will actually be a premiere on Thursday. Um, you know, instead, it won't be a premiere today. It'll be you're on Thursday talking about it, but we'll talk, we'll, you'll see what it is if you look around in a moment, but, you know, that's neither here nor there, um, but yeah, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking WWE could have some great momentum, mostly for SmackDown, but I think Raw really needs a spark to recover, you know, in all honesty, and, you know, I genuinely have no idea what the hell's going on on the red brand right now because I mean it, it, I mean again these matchups for Raw are just absolutely garbage mostly disappointing just absolutely terrible matchups you know that you know you think they deliver but then you realize that most of these are just kind of that they're not good they're, and the build up certainly hasn't been good you know again build up for some of these matches have just not been good you know, and, you know, hopefully, hopefully we get a good pay-per-view, I'm thinking like, you know, maybe like a 6 or 7 out of 10 for me, if, you know, if things go to, go as well as I hope, you know, uh, but, I mean, the momentum here really rides on those SmackDown matchups, how good are those SmackDown matchups going to be, you know, in Vegas, or, telling you that that's really the driving force here to get you know those ratings that money those promotions and everything like that you know get all of that good stuff for the WWE so we'll see you on the terrible service known as Peacock you know on Sun on Saturday night excuse me not Sunday because again Allegiant said we're going to do this on a Saturday so see ya um well I won't be seeing you again you know for WWE content until whenever whenever the next big pay-per-view rolls around I think that'll be like the um, Survivor Series or maybe Clash of Champions I'm not sure which one um, that, that'll be when I next come to you talking about WWE talking about things that have happened since that time but other than that, that that's all I really gotta say um, I don't have much else to say and I'll see you again soon take care everybody